Hey guys, it's Retro Gaming here and back with another video. And today I want to show you my Polaroid DVD player. The model is DPA 00710S. So let me show you the outside and I'll show you the inside. But first, I'll show you the stuff here. So here is the battery. This is supposed to be going right here. So this slides in. And charger. I don't have all the accessories with me, but this was this is like pretty basic walkthrough. So I'll show you around it. So here we have the off and on switch, the power switch. This is the charging port, the AV in and DVD options. So if you were if you were to plug something in. If you want to, let's say, like a plug and play, for take that for example. If you have a special cable, you can plug it in, switch it to AVN, and you can use it. Now, I don't have the cables because I would have shown it to you in the beginning, but this is just basic, as I told you. So, we have the audio right here. So, if you want to plug something in for the audio, like speakers, that's fine. Oh no, I meant so what I meant to say is that you could um the audio if just in case your plug and play does not have speakers built into it, you could put in the audio so it can blast out through the speakers right here. Now this is for headphones. If you are going to use headphones, you could do that. So we have a manual volume um slider right here. We have an IR uh we have an IR right here. I don't have the remote with me. And the opening and closing disc tray and the lock right here. So let's just, um, I'm just gonna put the battery in. So I'm just gonna put this slide in. This is a, yeah, sorry guys. Yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna ignore that. There we go. So, here, when I open it, you have to press this button to open it since this locks in to right here. So you can fold this backwards, but you can't really do this. There's like no use. But like, you can just fold it backwards or forwards. If you want to close it, forwards. But if you switch it to 180 degrees, you can fold the flat backwards. Oh, I meant the lock. And just lock it in right there. So yeah, that's pretty neat. We have the logo right here and there. So yeah. You could also, I mean, like if you're annoyed, just fold it up. And that's, I mean, there's kind of a use for it, I guess. So here, we have a screen right here and speakers. So here, I'll show you some specs. These are some basic specs. We have Dolby Digital, Compact Disc Digital Audio, Kodak Picture CD Compatible, which you're basically saying if you have pictures on a CD or DVD, you could import it in right here. Now, um, and the last basic spec is the DVD video. So what I'm trying to tell you here, you cannot play Blu-ray, um, discs yeah it's pretty old but it was manufactured in march 2007 so yeah i can't believe it's march um so here we have the logo and you could get to see what you could you have like a little window here if you want to see your cd it's just spinning and there's a little pin if you want to this is like a pin so it's gonna close when it closes it doesn't hit this and turn off the screen not primarily. Yeah, there's also a 45 degree turn angle right here. So let me just show you. It stops right there. Pretty neat. So here we have the mode buttons. So here we have the mode button, the um the volume rocker. Yeah, we have two volume controls right here. Uh, we have the setup and zoom buttons, the tile and menu buttons. We have um the fast forward and if you want to go 
back in a movie. So yeah, same thing. But this is this is if you're gonna go slow, but this is where you wanna go fast, like way back in a movie. And this is gonna go forward in a movie. Yeah, there's two different functions. So yeah. Slow and yeah, this is the enter button. So this is a slow button, it's just in case you wanna slow down a movie, I think. And it's an I A B button. I don't know what that's for. I'm sorry, guys. And this is the pause play button and this is the stop button. Yeah, right here, this is the, um, just to do this. And here we have a laser. And that. So that's really it. I mean, if we just turn this on, I think I'm, I forgot to mention the power switch, but I don't know, guys. So yeah, I mean, look at this. It actually works pretty good. But... It's pretty sensitive, I get. I gotta say. I mean, I have this like. It's scratched, right? I mean, my computer could read it. Like, I have a computer. I could read it. I have this other DVD player. It could still read it. And that's kind of weird because this can't read it that much. I mean, it does read CDs. It's just like, it's very sensitive to scratches. So if you have, um. Like a mild scratch disc, but it's you can still read it. It you have like a chance that it will load up or it won't load up. So that's really it for today. I mean, we can flip it over. So I don't have a that's like a serial number. I don't know why. Um, so here I don't know what this is for because I don't have um uh accessory for that. So this, these are just some other stuff that you don't need to worry about. But here, um, it's Polaroid, Polaroid Pixel. I don't really even know what that is. So yeah, that's really it. So I'll see you in the next video.